For those of you who want to practice Docker, this is a good project for you. And the project spec is basically you have to convert or you have to write a Docker Compose spec for installing Jenkins. Now, let me set, give you the context. So if you want to set up Jenkins, there are many options. The quickest way of setting up Jenkins is using Docker. Also, integrating Docker with Jenkins is very useful to create disposable, you know, um, environments for running your Jenkins job itself. And that's what you're supposed to do here. And if you look at the documentation, it talks about how to install Docker, what Docker is, and then how do you set up Jenkins along with, there is another container here called as uh, DIND. So this is the Docker run instruct, typically use Docker container run instructions, or you could also launch it through Docker Compose. We're gonna pick the second version, right? Um, and we, apart from setting up the containers, application containers, you're supposed to create the network and uh, then some volumes here as well. And these are the Docker run instruction description of it. Uh, this is um, for Jenkins. This is for the DIND um, container. I'm just gonna explain what DIND means. Uh, this is the actual Jenkins container using this blue ocean as an image. I would highly recommend you use, use this and this is also the officially recommended image of Jenkins if you're trying to set up Jenkins with uh, Docker. I have tried various images. Uh, this one is uh, the most up to date, uh, officially well maintained and uh, this is the one I would uh, recommend you to use. Now, uh, let's also look at what that DIND container is and how this is gonna look like when you launch it. Assuming that you're gonna run on this uh, on a Docker host, a Docker host is the one which runs the Docker daemon, you'd be launching the Jenkins container. That would be the actual continuous integration platform, Jenkins, uh, you will run the configure everything, jobs and the pipelines, everything there. Along with that, you'd actually set up this DIND container. DIND also stands for Docker inside Docker. What is this for? So basically, you can, uh, and how do you launch these? containers would be through a Docker daemon. So you would have a Docker's client and that will connect to this Docker daemon. Uh, Docker daemon listens to a socket. So from um, you know your client, you will just run Docker container run instruction for Jenkins and for DIND. Now, when you launch this DIND container, you'll also launch it with a privileged access so that it can actually run containers inside it. So this is like a simulated environment, simulated Docker host, that container itself is, and that will act like a Docker host with Docker daemon running inside it. And then when Jenkins connects to this Docker daemon, it will actually for running the jobs, it will connect to this uh, container and then use an agent called as Docker. That way the jobs it themselves are run as inside a container uh, for every job, there'll be a container created inside this Docker container. That's what we use DIND or Docker inside Docker for. Okay, so let's, let's now talk about the challenge for you. Or oh, that's your project basically. So your job is to basically create or write the Docker Compose YAML or spec for launching these two containers. And when you do that, you also have to be uh, you have to take care of uh, creating the network. You have to take care of setting up the volumes and mounting it at these respective uh, containers at the location that has been given in this documentation. This is the official, this points to the official documentation, which is also here. And uh, how do you proceed is basically you first look at the read, go through the documentation first. This is a project, so you have to do it yourself. Uh, I'm just giving you the spec for now. Um, I may show you the solutions later. So uh, you go through the instructions, understand how this setup is done. And before you write Docker Compose, you always, before you automate anything, you always launch it and test it manually. So do this, so just follow these instructions, create the network, create the volume, and then you launch these two containers. Also understand all these options, basically, what each of this option does, why it is being used, and uh, so on. So that will give you a good understanding of how to launch your containers, what options to use commonly, and so on. And uh, once you do that, then you come back, uh, understand it, and then you may, you know, um, want to convert it into the Docker Compose YAML, right? That's what your job is. So the output of this, or uh, the solution should be a, a working Docker Compose .yaml file. Uh, what are the skills that you need? 
to perform or to complete this challenge, you should know about the Docker basics. You should definitely know how to run and operate the containers. Common options, start, stop containers, look at the events, and then you should have an understanding of how to write the Docker Compose YAML spec. I'm going to let you learn that on your own and then come back and do this exercise or do this project. And uh, you can, I mean, there are many resources you could use, or you could also reference this course uh, that I've created um, and that's uh, called as Docker Mastery by School of DevOps. There's a link to it as well. So apart from this video, you should get an access to this project spec, this PDF document uh, to be specific. And from there on, you can get started with your setup and then convert it into the Docker Compose spec there, right? So just to show you, I have launched it using my Docker um, setup here. I have two containers running. I'll also show you how that DIND works. And uh, I have uh, a couple of volumes created for Jenkins. Uh, I have uh, a network created for Jenkins as well, a specific network for Jenkins. That's what uh, you would see when you launch it manually. I haven't created the Compose spec yet. I'm just trying, it, trying to do it manually and that's what I have. And what is interesting about this DIND is, um, you know, this is the uh, yeah, Jenkins Docker. This is my DIND container. So let me actually split and show you. So I'm logging into that container called as DIND. Okay, I'm inside that container. I'm on the same host uh, as earlier where I'm running those two containers. So when I am inside that DIND container, what is interesting is you will see that from here I can, one is you don't see the con containers on the host. So this is not a socket mount or anything like that. Uh, and you can run Docker container run. I'm launching an Nginx container which runs inside this host. It runs inside there. You won't see it on the underlying host. You don't see it here. You don't see it on the underlying host where the DIND container is running. It's not running along with this. It is actually running inside that. So this container itself acts as a Docker host, Docker daemon. Let's also find out what's running in here. So it's actually running a Docker daemon, right? Um, and that's how this DIND works. So it provides a simulated environment and this is what the Jenkins also would use. Jenkins will connect to this DIND container for every job. It will launch a container, run the job, get the work done and uh, be done with it, right? Uh, I'm just gonna delete the container that I launched here and uh, that's it. That's what I wanted to show you. Uh, this is how it's gonna look like and you should download the PDF uh, and get started with this project. This is a good exercise to learn and understand how Docker Compose actually works and uh, also to practice writing the Compose spec. Once you're done writing the Compose spec and testing it, if you are doing this as part of my course, you can submit it as part of the comment section or the assignment submission window. Uh, if not, if you are taking this as part of my, uh, you know, Facebook or um, YouTube uh, or a Facebook group, uh, you know, you can s create a gist. How do you do that is go to uh, with your GitHub account, you go to gist.github.com and then create a file here. Basically, this is a good way to share code and, uh, you know, uh, that's what I do in my trainings as well. So you create a gist with your Docker Compose uh, spec and uh, you can create a public gist and share the link to that gist in the comments section on the Facebook, YouTube or any other social media that I'm posting it in. All right. So that's your project for today. All the best and um, come back with a solution and paste it and share it with